up a video here from Catman W900. Today I'll be reviewing the Chevy 1500 with the Landall tilt trailer. Uh, you've already seen a review of the E35, so I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to include this in the video. Today uh, we'll be starting out with the 1500. I know you've been saying that I've seen millions of these videos, so have I. But this one's a bit different. What I did was I put on a bumper guard right there. You can see. Um, I put on a um, roll bar with with lights on it, as you can see there. I just took a nail and um, painted yellow on the front of it, made it look like a light. Then underneath, I put on some straight pipes, as you can see, running through here, back, all the way down and around. You can see both of them there. Um, rest simple, same. Um, the tailgate does drop. The hood does open, as you can see. Inside the engine says Wartech. I'm not even going to try because I tried before and it didn't want to work. Um, somebody said that this was a four door, which is untrue. This is a super cab. Because um, if it was a four door, I'd have a handle back here and it'd be a little bit longer. It'd be probably about this long in the back, maybe. So that that kind of makes this into a um, four door. I mean, a th not four door, but a super cab. Um, then rest is just the same. Uh, took off the Bobcat decaling, as you can see. I left the 1500 in Silverado and Chevrolet signs on there. Um, so that's it for the truck. Let's move on to the trailer. Um, the tra trailer can still attach to the truck, as you can see. If this thing just want to give me a fit, okay, there we go. Um, then the land all tilt trailer is still the same. I just took off the ramp in the back. Didn't really like it, so I took it off. Um, if you're wondering, yes, the 1500 can haul this in real life. Legally, this is just kind of like pushing the limits of it. Um, and yes, um, if you're wondering, I did order the F250. I really like the Ford better than Chevy. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like one of those that have the Chevy and I'm just gonna keep bashing on it, but, uh, I, I do like Fords better than Chevy. Look right there. I bought the dark gray one, as you can, I mean, as you'll tell on the next video. Um, so, that's pretty much it for this review. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.